you have a Demerara Harbor Bridge that is a floating bridge that affects flow, that affects the, 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 the seabed and everything, that is a big part of siltation and all of this. And you have a bridge now that will be a high span bridge that does not, uh, that does not have anything to do with the flow of water and so on. So it's, it's actually an improvement. In my analysis, it's an improvement in terms from an environmental perspective, from a marine life perspective. It's an improvement from where we are to where we are going. That was President Irfan Ali speaking on the Environmental Protection Agency's decision not to carry out an environmental impact assessment for the new Demerara River Bridge. Vice President Dr. Barjak Dio, who was also present at the virtual press conference, echoed the position of President Ali. What, what, what bothers me a lot is this newfound vigilance about environmental impact assessments. We have had an EPA that presided over I issuing some of the worst work permits in the past. And we had nothing to say about it for LISA 1 and LISA 2. A 25 years um, environmental permit was given to Exxon when the law says only five years you should give an environmental permit for. So the EPA has credible explanations, Mr. President. I don't think we have to do yeah. that. The new Demra River Bridge, which is set for completion by 2024, will include a four-lane high-span fixed crossing from Lagrange on the west bank of Demerara to Nandi Park on the east bank of Demerara. The highly anticipated Hallmark project will not require opening nor retraction to allow for maritime traffic and will have a lifespan of at least 50 years. This means that the current interruptions of traffic flow due to retractions will be a thing of the past. Further, as Guyana's petroleum industry continues to expand rapidly, a non-retracting bridge will enable oil and gas tankers and support vessels to traverse the waters without physical restrictions. The government of Guyana has considered bids under two options, a design build and finance option, and a design build, operate and finance option. Approximately 50 international companies had responded to the government's invitation for submissions of expression of interest for the design build of the new Demerara River Bridge, nine of which were pre-qualified. For the newsroom, Kurt Campbell.